We're looking at the chance for some snow, not really tonight for the Front Range or Eastern Plains, but if you look off to our west, we already have some snow really all the way from Moffett County, heading down towards the Telluride area, moving into Mesa County. Front Range, Eastern Plains clear for now, but you see a little bit of snow developing in some of our southern mountains. A little wider look at what's going on across the country. Well, we do have this area of low pressure that is parked right now, and it's going to move its way up into the Oklahoma Panhandle overnight tonight, and then tomorrow morning, it will be um, over, I should say Thursday morning, parked over that Oklahoma Panhandle area. And as it moves through to the south, it's really going to ramp up our snow chances, maybe even a little bit of freezing drizzle in some spots. And then once it uh, makes its way uh, thir uh, on Thursday morning, we're looking at a lot of rain and a lot of snow heading towards the Midwest. So let's time this out for you and talk about some of our winter weather advisories. Parts of the western slope looking at 5 to 10 inches of snow. Down in our San Gregorio de Cristos, we may see up to 16 inches of snow. But really the bulk of this is going to come onto our eastern plains. And what the worst part of this is, is you add in winds about 40 to 50 miles an hour with all of this snow. We're talking some pretty dangerous travel conditions, of course. After Christmas, everyone has to head back to where they came from. So again, watch out if you're planning on driving because we're going to have tough, tough travel conditions all the way into Minnesota. Nebraska, Kansas are going to be pretty tough out there. So please just be extra cautious with your drive, and it will be very windy along the way, too. So future cast for tonight, that snow will continue off to our west. And then tomorrow afternoon, we have the chance for snow here in Denver. But tomorrow morning from Steamboat through Craig Meeker all the way down to Durango, you'll find some scattered snow showers and then some of that could move on in for us in the late afternoon evening hours for the Denver area. For us, we're not looking at a ton of accumulation, maybe about an inch here in Denver, south side of town heading towards Castle Rock, Palmer Divide, maybe a two to four inches in some spots. Eastern Plains, you start off as rain tomorrow evening. That will change over to snow heading into Thursday morning. It does move up pretty quickly. So by Thursday around lunchtime, most of this is into Kansas and Nebraska, and then we should see clearer skies for all of Colorado. But again, it will be windy as that storm moves down to our south and there's also a cold front associated with that so it'll cool off around here quite a bit. 38 degrees here in Denver right now, 35 in Greeley, 30s, 40s out east, high country, 20s, 30s and 30s, 40s off to our west. 24 from our weather watcher Paul Kaplan in northwest Gunnison. Thank you to our weather watchers who are still reporting on Christmas for us and we have 42 degrees here downtown. Almanac for today, 47 officially out at DIA so running just a little bit above our average of 42 degrees and 45 here downtown. Now, tonight, a lot of low 20s and teens, 21 in Denver, 16 in Fort Collins, uh, upper 20s for the far eastern plains high country. We have anything from the teens to the low 20s. And tomorrow cools off a little bit for us, 39 in Denver and Greeley and Fort Collins, a lot of upper 30s on our far eastern plains, 30s in the high country. And then we have a big cool down coming our way Thursday and Friday, down to 30 degrees on Friday. Maybe a little bit of snow here in Denver lingers on through Thursday morning. And then we're really cold on Friday, down to 24 degrees. Snow's a day late. I know What's we wanted it on Christmas, but some areas of Colorado got a white Christmas. At least some people got it. There we go.